Blue Gateway is a modern Envoy-based API gateway. It is completely Kubernetes native, and it can act as the main entry point for all of your traffic. In this short demo, let's see how easy it is to install it, start routing traffic, uh, securing it, and observing. I have a standard Kubernetes cluster with a sample application that is composed of several microservices, the web UI namespace with my front-end microservice, and then the back-end APIs namespace with the other microservices. Let's take a look at this in my cluster. So I'll list the pods in my web UI namespace, and then list the pods again in the backend APIs namespace. So now let's install Glue Gateway, which is easy to do with the mesh cuddle CLI. Um, so I'll run the mesh cuddle install command, and I'll install the demo profile and set my cluster name and the license key. So now that that's done, we can run the mesh cuddle check command. And you can see it comes with everything you need, including a rate limit server, an XOT server, telemetry collector, Prometheus. Let's start using our gateway. We can start by telling our gateway which host and port it should listen on. And we can do that using a virtual gateway resource. So the virtual gateway resource tells it that I want to select this gateway based on its labels, serve HTTP traffic, and then uh, this is the external port on the, on the gateway service that I want to listen on. So let's apply this. And next, we want to direct traffic from the gateway to my application. And I can do that using a route table. So the route table says that I want to you know, specify a host optionally or provide a wildcard to listen on all hosts and then create a virtual gateway or select the virtual gateway that I created in the previous step. And then any traffic that's going to slash, I want to route to my front end service and port 80. And let's apply this. And that's it. Now we can get the IP address of my gateway and visit my front end. Now, let's see how easy it is to expose another application. Let's say I want to expose my catalog microservice, and this is a REST API. So for that, I'll just create another route table. So this route table, again, selects the same virtual gateway, but this time says uh, it's doing path-based routing. Any traffic that's going to slash catalog will then route to my catalog service on port 80. And I want to rewrite the path to slash uh, to this spelling because that's what my application expects. So let's apply this one as well. And now going back to my browser, if I go to slash catalog instead, I can now hit my catalog REST API. I can also just as easily send traffic to an external service. Uh, this could be a public API. It could be a way to access applications running on-premise, et cetera. So for that, we'll define an external service resource. Think of this as a service registry entry. Uh, we're creating a, a new external service with this host and this port. And once we have this defined, again, I'll just create another route table to point to this external service. And this route table, again, will select the same virtual gateway that I created in step one. And then this time, any traffic that's going to slash HTTP bin will now be redirected to this external service. And let's apply this. And now if I go to slash HTTP bin in my browser, I should now be able to visit the, HTTP, the external HTTP endpoint. I'll go to the slash headers path so I can see exactly what my request and response looks like. And this application provides that data for me. So once we've established routing, next we can dynamically apply policies to these routes. And these can be uh, web application firewall policies, you know, external auth, transformation, rate limit, um, retry, there's many policies that you can apply to these routes. But to keep things uh, short, let's just apply uh, header manipulation policy. So this policy says that it's going to apply to any routes with this label. So this is a way for you to dynamically apply a policy to several routes. So these, these routes, um, if you remember when I created the HTTP bin route, I attached a label to that route called route demo. So now whenever I create a policy with this uh, selection, then it will attach those policies automatically. Uh, for this policy, I'll append this request header called custom request header. I'll remove this request header called user agent. And then I'll also remove a response header of server. So let's apply this. And then let's go back to HTTP bin in a new tab. And then if I look at the headers, you can see that I no longer have the user agent header. I have a new header called custom request header. And then if I look at the response headers, 
I do not have a server response header. Great. So finally, let's take a look at the Glue Mesh dashboard. Here you can see information about your cluster, your destinations, and a service graph where you can observe the traffic. There is more to Glue Gateway than what I've shown in this short video, such as multi-tenancy, multi-cluster capabilities, GraphQL, API management, but this was just meant to be a short quick start demo. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us or check out our documentation. Thank you.